all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as they go the asari dokubo the edia Bali of karabaland karabare land have apologized to mazina and can you say <laughs> he say he's Igbo man who say he's not disputing that his origin his forefathers are from the land of Ndibo. Uh, but uh, for me after saying all these things, I still go back and say, why is Asari Dokobo always fighting in the Igbo since he says that he's an Igbo man? You know, it is good that as a man, the band is never again, I'm one walking, I'm again, and I'm blown walking, I'm one, I'm blown one. I can't walk, I can't walk, you know, and I didn't enjoy. Imagine everyone in Azo, everyone in Azo, Keke, Monweke. Why you chose that for Zamboko Mumburi, Mumba, for if you want in Azo? But I see the be now, uh, you look, by the look of things, Asari Dokubo does not want to stand one side. He's sounding very political, that uh, he's an evil man. The other time, I will show you the video, you watch the video right now, uh, because we will watch and um, we will play the show. Make I drop the video for you, and after I drop the video for you to see what Asari Dokubo they do, I go still come back to tell you what's in there my mind, uh, because as see there my mind, now, so I go to bring her out. Watch, go to that video first. Well, it's an evil man. It's from Obom in Abang. Okay. It's from Obom in Abang. Oh, no, no. I thought it. His family went to Posi in Anambra State before they came to New Calabar. It's an evil man. Okay. I am making a body. So, when somebody says, hey, boy, you know, this, no, I am, in, yes. The name I answered today, the stool on which I sit today, which was created as one of the first work. Asare Dokubo, your mumu never too much. Your mumu never too much. To created. In fact, I'm not the first five to be created in Calabar land. Idi Abali became the richest man of his time. Mm. He's an evil man, 100%. Okay. And he never denied being an evil man. So I, his worthy descendant, will not deny. I have my disagreement with evil, but I cannot. So also, his freaks. This is the same person that betrayed Mazen and the Kano, his closest ally. He boasted a lot about Mazen and Nikano, but now he betrayed him. Just keep listening. So also he's asked for. The boys na na bri fucking na ton na da no no ko na ton no ton. Ma kanana attacki lu no na da pakuru pakuru pakuru. Eti abali. My father wana na ko. He's a holy woman. Uzoma. David Wells, Ele Buke Wells. These are holy bulls. Let nobody come and be denying that. Now in the denial, now in the denial, I'm saying Bibo. Now in don't they talk different thing. <laughs> Yesterday, after 
today they find it difficult to speak Igbo. <laughs> So, in, in, like I said, I am historical correction officer. We have to tell our children our history through and leave this falsehood. Tell our history, we should not be ashamed of who we are. Okay. Okay, go ahead. We are all ears. Go ahead. We should not be ashamed of who we are. Okay, okay. It's not because somebody is making claim we are going to deny because a man is making claims. Whether evil people make claim or not, that's a bloody business. That will not stop us from saying that this is what we are, who we are. And we stand up to who we are. We keep record of who we are. We tell the world who we are. We stand so that from that we can draw our strength. We can become who we really are. Ah. Today, everybody is fabricating. Everybody is doing this. Why is it fabrication? All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Uh, you don't hear CDV. <laughs> the Adia Valley of Calabari land, um, for me, I will say that uh, I've never seen any man as confused as Asale Dokubo. He's just a man. Uh, if now our people they go say now money miss road, now just money miss road come meet him. But a man that I've not been as sincere as, very corny person, very echoba. And I think when they say asale Dokubo na Edi Abale, he na Edi Abale for real. Because if you see him cheek, if you see him oga, you gonna say <laughs> this one na Edi Abale. Uh, in on the if I continue to the listening to Rambo, make I just explain to you. Uh, in on the use indirectly the back mass and the canoe because uh, keep keep put on the leak. See even international lawyers, uh, UN lawyers, chartered lawyers are coming up now uh, because before uh, they thought that they could sweep this matter under the carpet and they felt that uh, because he's an evil man, he doesn't have mouth. But international lawyers now are coming up. They say, yes, he's our brother. And not only that he's their brother, the, even the lawyers now that are coming up are Americans, British, white people that have decided that they must see the end of this case. Number one, because just injustice to one is injustice to all. That's what some people don't understand. Injustice to one is injustice to all. Because that injustice that favored you today we end up being against you tomorrow. So when you see something, say something. When you see the truth, you say the truth. When I call this city, don't worry, we. If you say the truth, nobody will kill you. Even if they kill you, your generation will know that. If posterity will hold you that this man died as a truthful man. Look at what is happening in the midst of Ares and Debo. Piam, piam, piam. Iwanya uh, passed away. Piam, piam, piam. And Ifanyo uh, 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 passed away. Because... You know that in the olden days, it's not all these things. Uh, some people are saying, uh, let's go back to our menala. Uh, we want to start uh, what our fathers left for us. The white man came and, and took it away. The white man did not take anything away from our forefathers. The same white man that came to Alibo, the same white man came to Yoruba. Yoruba still maintained their tradition up to, even if you watch Yoruba movies, you will see how they held their religion, they are their tradition in esteem. But in the Igbo, if you give an Igbo man singlet now, he will forget that he was wearing in Jaya yesterday. He will forget his tradition. So stop blaming the white man. The fault is the Igbos that accepted the divide and rule. In the olden days, before you become an Izeman, they will wash your tongue. That washing of tongue shows that you are there to become a man of truth. That when your people Wants to get truth from you, they say Mwajebonyenze. He's a titled man, he will tell us the truth. But in Alibo today, it is these titled people that collect bribe from the back and still say their brother. It is these titled people that will kill in the bush, come out on the road and be asking who killed. This is what is happening in Alibo today. 
and you are telling me that Alibo is going to become better. As you be, uh, if like I say we are tilting towards the Third World War, because as you be now, the Russians, the South Koreans, the Iranians, the Chinese have joined forces to go against Israel. Even Hamas, all these people are now joining forces against Israel. But uh, when I remember what the Lord said about Zion, He said that He's a city that set on a hill that cannot be hidden. He said that as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, that so the Lord surrounds these people, and that's going to what is going to be happening. Not trying to be biased in my judgment, but from history so far, we have seen how Israel were able to, you know, conquer a lot of nations. They are in the middle of the midst of the Middle East, the Palestinians, the the Iranians, and the rest of them. But still, yeah, they are still surviving. With that, Chuko Okabiyama, who is fighting for Israel, will still fight for Indi Biafra. It will be like a movie one day when Umuchineke will say, it is the day of Exodus. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of marching and joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, Biko, go down and just share this news. Like and comment. Thank you for listening. God bless you.